Hey guys, it's Carolyn, aka The Ritz Carolyn, and today I'm going to be showing you just a random look that I created. So I already did my brows. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in shade Chocolate. And now I'm priming my eyelids with the Makeup Revolution Concealer in shade C1. And then of course I'm using the Concealer Brush by BH Cosmetics. And apparently this is this is a sunburn makeup look tutorial. Because someone on Twitter told me it looked like I had a sunburn when I was done. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. Alright, and I'm going in to the Jawbreaker palette. And I'm using Good Morning to cover my whole lid. And I'm going to be using the Jawbreaker palette for this whole look. And I'm going in with a very thick, fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics once again, because those are the only brushes I own from BH Cosmetics. And I love using this large brush because it makes it so easy to just cover your whole lid. And of course, I'm going to be super washed out in some of these shots, so sorry. I kept looking. I keep touching it. I'm like, come on. Come on. Stop washing me out. <laughs> it keeps doing it. Alright, I'm going into shade Frick. I'm not going to say the word. Because I want to get monetized someday. But if you, if you know the Jawbreaker palette, you know exactly what shade I'm talking about. And now I'm just trying to use the mirror from the Jawbreaker palette to make sure I don't get washed out, but obviously that isn't working. But I'm still using the same fluffy brush because your girl doesn't use a ton of brushes to do makeup. I literally use about two, two brushes for my eyeshadow looks. <laughs> you can see me get a little frustrated there because it keeps washing me out. But I'm just buffing and blending up into the shade Good Morning to make a nice little ombre effect. And here I am adjusting the camera because a girl is getting frustrated. Oh my gosh. But I'm just blending my life away. Yep, just blending, blending, blending. kind of can't see really what's going on, but that's okay. Still using the same exact color, I'm just really packing it on. Alright. Now I'm deciding which color I want to use next. So I'm going into shade Suck, which is like a pretty pretty pigmented I mean obviously it's pigmented a very original orange color and I'm just blending that and now I'm adjusting the camera again <laughs> because I cannot figure out why it keeps washing me out but we're just gonna deal with it we know it's gonna happen but I'm just blending that into the shade freak to make it nice and pretty And I'm sorry, but I'm getting a drink because my mouth is dry. A little bit of ASMR there for you. Remember to hydrate. And I'm just going in with uh, the shade sucker again, doing the exact same thing. We all know what I'm doing. But yeah, this look was, I don't know, I just kind of sat down and decided to just go with the flow. And then here I was getting, I didn't, re I couldn't really see the difference between the shade Frick and Suck, so I decided to turn the lights off so I could see the shades better, which worked a little bit. And I think it did help with not washing me out. And I'm going in with the shade Bubblegum, which is the kind of... Hot pink, obviously, bubblegum color. 
and blending that in to suck. And I'm putting that all over my actual lid too. But I blend it pretty far into my inner corner. I don't know why. But you can see it's turning more pink. And I'm just checking the camera to see if it washes me up, but I'm guessing having the lights off actually helped a lot because I haven't, this is my first time watching it, so. It's a first for all of us. <laughs> I love just staring at the camera, I guess. I'm getting a little frustrated because it's not going the way that I was envisioning. So here I am just contemplating my life if I want to keep going on. <laughs> this is the look of I'm done. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, Alright, it looks like I just dipped into... The shade's soaked. And I'm just bl putting that onto my lid and I'm going to blend it up. But from this point out, I was officially done. I did not want to keep going, but I just kept filming. Because I, I like the way it ended up turning out, so I'm glad I didn't stop recording. But it's looking very sunsetty, and very pretty. But I'm using a pencil brush now from BH Cosmetics because I like using that on the lid. It's easier than using the big fluffy brush where if I ever use the big fluffy brush on my actual eyelid, sometimes I'll accidentally add too much and then I'll have to blend it up higher than I originally anticipated. So that could be a little frustrating. I had such an attitude filming this look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I am so done. I was so done with life. And I'm just trying to like blow the fallout off of my face so I don't smudge it. Now I'm just going to do the same, same thing with the other eye. Making sure it's nice and blended and pretty. Sometimes it's just, it's a lot of fun when I just sit down without a look planned and I just go with the flow. Sometimes I feel a little bit too much pressure if I have to like recreate a certain look or something. It's just fun to let the creativity flow. But I'm just really, really blending to make it look beautiful. <laughs> and I'm getting mad because it's not as pigmented as the left eye for some reason. I'm just <laughs> oh, that is the face of I am so done. <laughs> and I'm just I'm just gonna add a lot more of the shade soak to make it as pigmented as the left eye. I'm not sure why the right eye was giving me so much trouble. I don't know. I think it just wanted to be a butt to me. And here I'm adding more to the left eye for some reason. I'm not sure why. But who knows, frustrated Carolyn is a completely different person. I'm guessing I'm dipping into shade Suck again. Or maybe, no, I think I'm, I'm dipping into bubble gum and I'm adding that right below my eyebrow and blending that into shade Soaked. Because I did not like the way Frick and Suck looked with this look. I'm definitely going on a shade bubble gum. Making sure that's nice and blended using the pencil brush so I have some really nice precision. 
then I'm going back in with the big fluffy brush and I'm pretty sure it's clean and I'm just blending it together to make it look beautiful. I'm going back in with bubble gum and cleaning it up a little bit. Bring it away into the inner corner. Because I like that kind of dramatic look. <laughs> My silly faces. And I'm licking a piece of toilet paper to clean the underside of my eye instead of just wiping it off. I know, so gross, so unhygienic. But whatever, it's me. I'm not doing makeup on anyone else. I don't do makeup on anyone else. But it's, it's pretty easy to remove it like this instead of using a makeup wipe because I don't want to use a whole makeup wipe if I'm just going to throw it away after cleaning a tiny part of my face. Sorry, your girl is cheap. Alright, now I'm going to go in with... The Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in shade Yellow Tails. This is the very first time I've ever used a Stila product like this. And in the middle of using this, my eye started to burn. So I don't know if I like show a reaction to that or if I just play it cool. But my eye started to burn and I don't know if that's normal or not. Because I got this on sale at TJ Maxx so I'm kind of scared. Like, I made sure that it wasn't open or anything, but still, I didn't... I've never had a liquid eyeshadow burn before. Because I've used the Milani uh, liquid eyeshadow that looks exactly like this. But I'm just trying to, like, make a half-cut crease with this. And then I'm gonna blend it. I think I used my finger? I don't know, I used the little pencil brush. Which still is a little bit of soaked on it, so I'm just blending that together. So it's not a super harsh line. I mean, it's a, it's a very beautiful liquid eyeshadow, but maybe I should test it on my hand or something to see if it burns again. But luckily, when I took it off later that night, I didn't have a reaction, which is very nice. And here, I'm not so sure because... I got some of the shades soaked onto the liquid eyeshadow, and you can see that kind of dark line. But you don't really see it once the look is finished, thankfully. I'm an extreme perfectionist when it comes to makeup, so I was... I was definitely frustrated, as you can see. But yeah, I'm really just trying to make it... make it blend. I'm just still going in with that soak shade. <laughs> I sneezed. I need more kombucha. Does anyone else like drinking kombucha? I recently started like half a year ago and I am obsessed. It's just a little expensive, but it's very yummy. I guess I'm just making sure it's even. And wiping off all the excess. <laughs> now I'm going with the No Pore Blum primer. Putting that all over my face. I love the way this primer feels. It's kind of like silky. And I mean, I don't notice a huge difference in my skin, but I still like it. Like kind of leaves a slightly slimy texture. And now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream um, Foundation. Which I've never used before, so this is my first time using it. So I'm really layering it on. <laughs> Goofy face. And I'm using my dirty, 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 dirty beauty blender. Which is supposed to be black, but it's, it's extremely dirty. I need to wash it. I am so lazy. I am the worst with 
cleaning brushes. I will literally wait till the last minute to uh, wash them. And I know that's really unhygienic, but what can you do? Oh, that kombucha slaps. Um, I noticed with this foundation that it's not super full coverage. You can see I have acne right there, so I'm really layering on a second layer to make sure it covers. But this is shade Alabaster, and I picked it up at TJ Maxx because, girl, it was on sale. We love a good sale, but... I actually like this foundation. I've never used a stick foundation like this before, but super nice. You just have to really layer it on if you have acne or anything or discoloration. And here I am, bouncing my life away. And yes, I put the end of the beauty blender up my nose to blend out the foundation so it's not like a line from my nostril. Oh no, I'm gonna burp. Excuse me, gross. We didn't sign up for an ASMR burp. Come on, girl. Now I'm just putting it all over my neck to blend it down because, you know, we all blend foundation down to our neck. And I'm kind of dragging it along because it's kind of hard to just bounce it away like a, found, uh, a liquid foundation. Gosh, I cannot speak. I am looking super white. And now I turn turn the light back on and I'm like, ah, it's bright. But yeah, I, I turned the light back on because we were done with the the fancy stuff with the eyes. And I'm going in with my concealer shade C1 from Makeup Revolution. I absolutely love this concealer so much. It slaps. But I'm putting that all over my acne because the foundation doesn't cover it 100% like other ones. But I'm just blending, blending, blending. And I'm using the tiny pointy end so I can get right under my eye. And I look extremely white right now. But I swear I don't look like that. Gosh, I'm tired. Yeah. So apparently you're supposed to change out your beauty sponges like every three months or something. And I'm like, girl, I do not have that kind of money. I mean, your beauty blenders are like, what, $25? And every three months, that'd be, that'd be a lot of money at the end of the year. Now I'm going to set my face with the Beauty Bakery Setting Flower in shade Translucent. I, I slap it on the bottom to help it come out. And I'm using the, I think it's a Real Techniques sponge. I definitely need to replace that because it is old and gross. I use it damp. I forgot to say, I, I use all my sponges damp. But I'm just setting it all over my face, and I also put it on my neck. And just to make sure if there is any flashback, that my whole face and neck is going to be white as heck. But I, I love this setting powder. I've tried the Cody Airspun, and I, I don't mind the grandma scent of the Cody, but holy cow, I did not like the way it made my face look. But then again, I used to not shave off all the baby hairs on my face, but now I do. And I found out that it helps the setting powder not make my face look so cakey. Because all the baby hairs are off. And I'm just putting it all over my neck. <laughs> I'm wiping my hand because I absolutely hate the feeling of that wet sponge on my hand. Just that certain brand makes it feel so weird. 
and now I am using a little pencil brush and the, sh the shade soaked to blend it into my eyeshadow like from the bottom to the top to make it kind of smoky and some of the eyeshadow is getting inside my eye just my look so I'm blinking a lot yeah we know you're not a cute girl <laughs> I love making silly faces And now I am using a pencil brush and um, I'm not sure what shade I'm using. I think I'm using bubble gum and I'm just going along my cheekbone. I'm contouring with it because I'm like, you know what? If this look flops, it flops, but I'm just going to be super creative with it. So I'm putting that all in my hairline. And now I'm doing it with this side. You can see it a lot better. Actually, I think it's... I think it's shade Gumdrop that I'm using. Yeah, I think so. Oh, well. It's one of the pinks or purples. <laughs> but yeah, just putting it all in my hairline so it's not like a white streak. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's working or not. And then I put a little bit on my chin. Looks like I'm using like the big fluffy brush. Can't quite tell. I'm not sure if you can hear but the garbage man is here. So, hello, garbage man. Good morning. And I'm just blending and blending. And then I put it on my nose, too, to add a little bit of color. But yeah, apparently this is my extreme sunburn. According to some man on Twitter. But whenever I, I put a uh, shadow on my nose, for some reason it always goes out my nose. So I have to hold my breath or else I'm going to like cough pretty bad. And I'm not sure if I'm adding the second color yet, but I'm pretty sure I did use the shade Gumdrop and Bubblegum for my contour and stuff. But yeah, this look took me a while. I think it took me like an hour and a half because I was just in the zone and I didn't really care how long it took me, even though I was in a pretty bad mood from before. Because I get frustrated when things aren't perfect, but you know, that's life. Things won't always be perfect and just got to go with the flow and make the most out of it. And that's what I did. So I'm just putting a tiny bit of color on my cupid's bow. And that's the contour and everything. Now I'm going in with the Dip Brow Gel Pomade in shade Chocolate from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I do this after I set my face because I don't want to have that gel in my eyebrows holding it in place just to get setting powder on it because then I'd have to put even more product in my brows. Now I'm using the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner in shade Black. This is my go-to eyeliner. I've been using this for a long time. I haven't used a, a different eyeliner in forever. But I'm just putting that like a tiny little line above my lashes. So it will hide my lash band when I add them. Now I'm putting the... The liquid lipstick shade question mark from Jeffree Star. This was the limited edition shade from his mystery boxes from I think last month. And I'm just putting that on my lips. And I'm pretty sure I don't use a, a setting spray because I'm not really going anywhere. And if I did I'd get a ton of weird looks. I'd be like what the heck is this girl wearing? 
but I got my lipstick on. And I'm pretty sure I'm looking for my lip gloss that I want to use. Oh no, I'm going in with highlighter. I'm using the Jeffree Star Frozen Peach Liquid Highlighter. And I always put it on my hand and then apply it with either my finger or a brush. I think I'm going on my Cupid's bow first and now my nose. But this is my very first liquid highlight. I've never used one before and I honestly love it. It's so pretty. And you don't need a lot for it to be blinding. But you have to be careful because you can pump way too much product out on accident. Which I did the very first time for my mystery unboxing. Got like a big old plop of highlight on my hand and I'm like, oh no. Just wasted a ton of product. But I'm just blending it into some of the pink of my contour because pink and pink match. I'm just adding a little bit more pomade into my brow to make sure it matches. And now I'm applying the Alme Goddess Gloss in shade Ethereal. It's a very blue kind of glitter shade and it kind of makes it a pretty purple, purple lip because the shade question mark by itself is way too pink for my skin. It, it doesn't look right on me. So I'm just making sure it's all, all even and everything. Making sure it looks good. I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, oh, yep, we can't forget lashes. I'm going in with the Maybelline Great Lash. Very classic mascara with the pink, pink and green tube. Just shade black, very basic. Coating my lashes before I put falsies on. I don't even remember if I use falsies. I think I do. But I don't have a weird mascara face like most people. My face is just boring, like always. <laughs> And I'm making sure it's dry. And now I'm applying the very baby, 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 um, what the heck is it called? Lash glue. And I'm blowing on it so it could dry. I, I don't even remember what kind of eyesh um, eyelashes I'm using. Wow, I cannot talk today, can I? So these are just going to be mystery lashes. I think they might be uh, kiss lashes, but I don't know what style. This is like the scariest part of putting lashes on, is using that like little clamp to stick them together. It took me forever to master lashes. For the longest time they'd always be wonky or they'd like stab me in the eye when I'd blink. And that does not feel good. So that one got on pretty fast, and I'm just applying the baby glue to the next lash. And now we wait. <laughs> waiting and waiting. <laughs> I look so sad. <sighs> Alright, time for the fun. Applying that one and you can't really see because it's covered. But here I am kind of wiggling it so you can get the kind of C-curved into the eyelash that's so easier to apply to your eye. Because if you don't uh, relax the lash band, it, it can sometimes remain straight. And then of course that won't fit your eye because your eye is curved. It's not, your eye is not a square. So yeah, that's it. Woo! Alright, so this is the final look. You can see how beautiful it turned out. I was extremely happy with it. 
But this is my sunburn look. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.